what's up y'all i'm back with another video today i'm going to be showing you how i achieved this knot bun to the right i'll be showing you um the style i'm actually going for it's a bun with two long bangs that are wavy um i believe my hair was already flat iron yes it was and what i'm doing right now i'm sectioning off the um bang area which um needs to be relatively large because especially if your hair is thin if it's not thin don't leave out that much but my hair is a little thinner in the front so um you want to create a uh not a box but you can see the shape that's right there um i like to um do my ponytail in sections just to make sure that it's as flat and as smooth as possible um I go in and I spray my got to be spray, put a little comb on it, straighten it out, and rubber band it. And this step is very repetitive. I do it multiple times. I just section my hair multiple different ways before I um I'm done. So like I said, different sections, got to be spray, comb, and rubber band. It's very easy, very simple. Now, when you are doing the back, you want to make sure that you don't hold your head down when you're doing it. I had to keep catching myself doing it and stiffening my neck up. You want to be looking like straight up, like holding your head straight up. Don't lean your head down to bring them down to your arms. Hold your head straight up just like that and put the rubber band on it. Because if you don't mold your ponytail while your head is straight up, it'll like bend right there at your neck area it'll be right there while i'm spraying that spray at. so you can see i'm holding my head down while i'm molding it but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold my head up and put a little blow dryer on it before i put it into the ponytail so that'll keep it the way i want it to be and you see how right now my hair is going comb straight up if i was to bend my head down any further the only thing it would do is get tighter it's not going to get looser so that's what you want to avoid is holding your head down while you're molding the last piece of your ponytail it doesn't really matter so much for the top piece. It really just matters the most for like that back last piece. And a huge recommendation is to really just spray and pull and then apply the blow dryer to it. That'll keep it the way you want it. Um, as you know, you see how you get, like, I got a perm and I don't, it'll keep it looking like that. See, I don't, you don't really have to, I mean, if you're a magician and doing this on somebody else, yes, you don't have to use that many rubber bands. But me doing my own hair is really hard. So I had to use all these rubber bands, but, um, it's a couple different tricks. It's a trick where you can spray it, put the dryer on it, and um, let it, the product get a little stiff so that you can keep it into the place where you want it at. Or you can um, spray it, pull it, hold the blow dryer right there so that it can um, stay how you want it. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. I did it multiple different ways in this video, so just really watch what I'm doing because it's really like super easy. Like it's really easy. So now you want to basically split your um, bang section down the middle. You can do a zigzag part, you can do a straight part, whichever you choose. But um, my hair is a little thinner right there in that middle part. Um, I don't know why, but it, it just is. When you're um, applying your tracks, you're going to part on the angle so that the tracks flow away from your face. As you can see, it's just going to go like to the side rather than coming straight down like a Chinese bang and you apply a little bit of glue on it you can blow dry the glue if you want to i really don't i just blow dry the um track over top of the track once i get it on and you're going to repeat these steps as many times as you want 
to create the desired bang i guess the thickness of it the more trash you add the thicker it's going to be so if you don't want it too thick and you want to look more natural don't add too many tracks but if you want to look just like how i did it i want to say i probably added two tracks i want to say on both sides and these were just little scrap tracks i want to say they might have been probably like 18 inches maybe at the, at the longest I want to say or maybe 16 I don't really know I have a lot of scrap hair around the shop but um yep you just do the same thing that you did to the left to the right side to the left side and it's just about it's not done but you really have done most of the hairs now you've done the hardest part this is the hardest part So now that we're done, I like to tie my hair up um, when I'm applying a ponytail or a bun just because um, it, they get messed up when all that hair is going around your head when you're wrapping it around. So I just take extra precaution to tie it up. Now you're going to go in and cut your um, bangs now. You can leave your bang as long as you wanted to, but because this weave was thin, I went on ahead and just cut them. And I'm using um, Organics Body Wave 22 inch for my ponytail in synthetic. It costs about 10, between 10 and 12 dollars. I'm not sure of the exact price, but it's not high at all. Um, I don't really be worried about too much security when I do my own hair because I know I'm not gonna keep it in. But I probably use about mm, three or four bobby pins. Probably not even four or three. Probably just two. <laughs> Um, but, um, after you wrap it around, I'll wrap it around how it comes in the pack. Um, just because it's not going to be seen and it's not really important how you put it on. Um, you want to make sure you brush it out real good before you wrap it around. And, um, it's like, you just, it's like just a twist motion. You can twist the actual ponytail as you're wrapping it to give it more of a knot, like a more of a, um, ninja bun look but i was going for more something more natural so i didn't really do that but um yeah i mean it's all done i didn't show y'all how i got these bangs because i was struggling however you just take a, a one inch flat iron and curl it and let the ends go i can show a video of me doing that on another video but this was my end result and i was real cute on valentine's day honey okay that was the real chew, honey. And that will be all for today. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel.